All right, YouTube Pyro fans, I'm going to show you something here today. A way to get your mortar rack to fire instantly when you push the button on your remote control. You know, normally when you have your mortar rack set up and you push the button on your remote, you're going to typically light off a talon or maybe an e-match, which starts the chain fuse. And the chain fuse has to burn and the leader fuse and that can take 6 to 12 seconds after you push the button before your mortar rack goes up. But if you want your mortar rack to go up immediately, here's what you do. If you're going to use E-Match, get your brass poke, poke the bottom of your shell. That bottom cap is a lot thinner and easier to poke through than the sidewall. This is thick cardboard, it's hard to push through but it's easy to pop through that bottom disc. And then put your E-match in there. I leave the shrouds on. I know some people take them off. Secure that with a piece of tape. I'll show you what we'll do with that in a minute. Another thing you can do, if you can't get E-match, but you can get talons, Get a talon, take the little rubber band off, pull the thing apart, cut off as much of the plastic as is completely unnecessary. So all you've got is just enough plastic there. Actually, that comes out. All I've got there is the nichrome wire, which is intact, and a little piece of plastic. Then you can pop the disc off the bottom of your canister shell. If you're very careful, you can just gently run a blade around there. Or you can run the tip of a brass poker around there, pop that disc off. Then take that exposed nichrome and lay it right in there on top of that lift and put the disc back. I would tape that a little more securely. And in fact, I will. So now, you've got a canister shell with a talon in the lift. That's easy to do. It takes no time to pop that disc off. So if you only can get talons, do that. Now we've got these two shells. And assume for the moment that this rack has shells 2 through 10 installed. I've actually only got shells 2 and 3 installed for demonstration purposes. But that would be my chain fuse, chain fuse down the line. Take your number 1 shell. In this case, I've got the one with the E-match. Drop it down in there. Now I'm going to take the chain fuse and just shove it into that pipe. And you can secure that with a little piece of tape so it won't flip out if it's windy or, you know, different ways that might flip out. But take a several inch segment of your chain fuse, slip it down into that pipe. And now Shell number one, which has an E-match in it, is going to go up instantly. I've got my mortar rack hardwired here with my speaker terminal and 15 feet of cable. So that's 15 feet of cable that's going to go to the module. I'll take my E-match and hook it in there. And when I hit that cue, this first shell is going to go up instantly because it's got a match in the lift. The blast is going to light the chain fuse, and that will run down and set off the rest of the chain. You can use any speed fuse you want. This happens to be super fast fuse. I use different speed fuse for different reasons. And, as I said, if you can't get E-match, you can certainly get talons. Pop the cap off. 
take the clip of the talon apart and just put the little piece that's got the nichrome in there, tape the disc back down, and same thing. that down in there and use it whatever you need to and now you got your talon I'll hook that into my speaker terminal there and when you hit the button that's going to fire instantly you don't have a multi-second delay before your mortar rack goes up you know if you e-match all your cakes every time you hit a cue they're going to go in immediately but your mortar racks typically you put a clip on the end of the first fuse You've got to wait six to nine seconds for that fuse to burn down before the first shell even lifts. But if you want to put a talon in the lift, or if you want to put an e-match in the lift, you can get your mortar rack to go instantly. That's it.